Hi, I'm Gian and <laughs> Hi, I'm Gian and in this video, I'm going to share the top 5 pieces of advice that I wish I gave myself during the first day of classes to better prepare for, yes, you know it, college. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Tip number one, gawa muna bago laro. And I cannot stress this enough kasi alam mo naman, um, sa buhay, my work, my play. And um, logically speaking, pag ginawa mo muna yung work mo, ginawa mo muna yung trabaho mo, technically, mas magkakaroon ka ng maraming time para makapaglaro, di ba? Kasi yung laro na yun is yung di ka nagigilty na naglalaro ka, nag-internet ka, nagbabasa ka, Nanonood ka. Yung laro na yun, kapag nagawa mo na yung work mo, bago yun, walang liyo, diba? So, mas masaya. So, that's tip number one. Number two, focus on what's important. Set your priorities straight. And I cannot stress this enough, sis. Sa so, buhay nga kasi yung may seasons, diba? And sa season na yun, meron kang Kailangan gawin. And that season, that season now is for you to be a good student. Sarap. <laughs> Pero, yeah. Um, if only, you know, if you did your work first before doing things that marami ka namang time na gawin pa in the future, then, hindi mo sana to late mo pabasa ngayon. So, yun. Focus on what's important. Number three. Magpahinga ng maayos. Ganto kasi sis. You, your old self thinks that, you know, after working, surfing the internet, watching movies or dramas, or reading mangas, manuals, books, it's rest. Okay. Well, rest sa akads, pero yung katawan mo sis, hindi nagpahinga. Kasi, gising na nga, gising na nga yung, gising na nga yung utak mo sa online classes, habang nagka-classes ka, habang mag-iisip ka sa mga akads, after noon, mag-iisip ka, mag ka ulit, mag-absorb ka ulit ng information from games, from vid from movies, from dramas, from videos, from books. So, basically, hindi nagpahinga ng maayos yung katawan mo. So, learn, learn how to nap. Learn how to sleep. Grabe. Yes. It's one of my problems. And fourth tip, you are your own competition. Um, don't compare yourself to others. And I'm saying this because um, in in my experience, even in that short semester, nandiyan talaga yung, yung mindset na parang, oh, I need to do better than this person. Kikibigin mo pa yan. Well, sis, I tell you, it's not only unhealthy, for you, for me, it's also unhealthy for others. So basically, um, the only person who you're going to do better, sorry, do better than is yourself, your past self. So think of ways how to improve yourself, not for the sake of bringing others down, but instead for improving yourself. So you are your own competition. Okay? Don't have that competitive mindset na kailangan mas magaling ka sa ganito, ganyan. We all have our own strength. So, last but not the least piece of advice that I should have told myself before is chill lang. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> okay? So, mistakes happen and that's okay. If it doesn't work, that's okay. If it does not work out, Start again. <laughs> and then, okay, so yeah, um, you know, we're in this process of growth, and even these things that I, I wish I should have told myself before, it may change while I go to the next year of college. But yeah, you know, growth is not always linear. 
So there are some setbacks. The worry is that's normal. Just learn from it. Don't be too hard on yourself. So um, I know that you enjoy college. Yung nga, innate naman yung tamad-tamad minsan, but I know that you can do it. So all the best. And for those who are listening to this, who are flat, uh, who are on their way to start another chapter of their lives, you know, it's applicable, hindi lang naman sa akin. So I hope this also helps. So ayun, those are the top five pieces of advice that I should, I wish I told myself before, before starting this semester. So that's all. I'm Gian and thank you for listening, watching. Bye!